being able to be successful in different areas through trial, error, failure, and most importantly, passion is ultimately what will make you successful in your long-term career. I learned a lot of lessons at the CIA that taught me to be a successful entrepreneur. The people that you can meet here at the Culinary Institute are top-notch people at the top of their game. From the leadership here, to the instruction, to the facilities, and the students, because people come from all walks of life, all parts of the world, have diversified backgrounds. And when you can embrace that diversity and that knowledge, and really utilize that to help drive your future. You are a step ahead of going to another institution or, or um, you know, just working in the industry. And for me, it was highly valuable. To be a, a leader, I think, in the food industry, it's important to go out into the world and, and do some things where you're really not focusing on leadership, where you're focusing on passion. Uh, CIA is the, the best foundation that you can get for uh, building your, your core skill set, but there's a world of, of folks to learn from. Some of them CIA graduates, some of them people from different parts of, of other industries and other walks of life. And I think, you know, continuing that for some time and then uh, learning, taking your skill set from CIA and learning in the real world before you have high expectations of becoming an executive in a company or an executive chef even, has been, was one of the things that foundationally really helped me in building my career and, and taking that knowledge and, and moving it forward. In terms of um, you know, thinking about the food space, it is big business today and there is more opportunity than ever. My recommendation is, is challenge that. Pushing the boundaries in our industry is becoming increasingly important and creating a higher level of food and better nutrition with better access, more economically, is the way of the future in food. And, and by questioning traditional systems, you'll be able to build better systems for future generations. What's next for Blue Apron is we've expanded quickly. We've gone from uh, just me and my two co-founders, Adam and Elia, to now 4,200 employees nationwide. And we're delivering over 8 million meals a month to our customers uh, all over the lower 48. And the, the focus for our organization has always been to deliver the highest quality meals, the kinds of meals that if we were cooking at home together um, to our millions of customers all over the country. And the way to do that has been to innovate in our supply chain, to work with uh, incredible organic contract growers, great people in the food system who are regeneratively rotating their crops to capture carbon, build organic matter, build healthy biology and soil, work with incredible full utilization of animals, so using an entire beef carcass, an entire uh, pork carcass, an entire chicken carcass. I'm really proud to say that we've not only grown as an industry, but we've captured more of the e-commerce market, and today we're the largest e-commerce grocery company in the world. People always ask me, what's the story for Blue Apron? How did you come up with the idea? And when did you start it? I didn't know it at the time, but I started our company 17 years ago on this day, commencement day, and some of you will too.